Hi guys, this is Emnel and we are back playing Hearts of Iron 4 as Czechoslovakia. I just realized that uh, our trades when it's up, when uh, I think... Uh, I'm not sure at some point, I think when Italy joined the war actually, a while back. Uh, so for whatever reason, we cannot... Uh, well, that's probably because we had the trade through Italy and then through Yugoslavia and through Hungary and so on. So. That's how it went, so we're going to get that from Soviet Union right now. I guess we can... Uh, uh, wait. I'll just get it from the Allies. Uh, British Raj, British Malaya, and, well, I guess Soviet Union. Um, Mm-hmm, King of Hungary, yeah, Yugoslavia will do. Right, and... Yeah, that seems to be working, alright. So we should start building stuff again now. And did I now? Yes, alright. Oh, whoa, well, whoa. Well. Yeah, okay, so it seems they are actually moving into the, the Polish border, which may or may not actually save France here from, you know, the par a nice military parade in Paris, Gustav and such. But, yeah, it seems so. Or they are just, yeah, no. I don't think they are moving against us here. There's nothing is really happening right there. Alright, speed 5 then. Alright, so those divisions we will actually move right here. Of course, once we attack, uh, we c the, the whole front will extend, assuming that, well, we are successful. Which may be risky if we don't have spur divisions here and there. Uh, okay, so it seem, we seem to have one more spur division here. Let's just super carefully check. Uh, yeah, it seems all the provinces have at least one. Well, exactly one. Uh, yeah, we're holding. So. Alright, works for me. Yeah, but we need to be really, really careful to not uh, put any holes in because if they are start if they start pouring in uh, that will be um, will probably be very much impossible to stop uh, now I need to get doctrinal invitation uh, how far are we so that would actually uh, be on time to get uh, grand assault going. Mm. Uh, to, to get, you know, uh, start working on the next one, which actually makes sense. We would get some breakthrough from our infantry since, well, we'll most likely end up attacking with infantry since, well, we do not have um, a lot in terms of tanks right now going for us. So, yeah, 75% reduction to land doctrine is actually something quite useful and it leads us towards the last of the uh, research slot. Right, last of the research slots. All right. Uh, yeah, and we have a four, a four, a four here. Very good. No holes. Once again, I'm I'm scared because well, if we fuck it up. <laughs> uh, runs, runs, chemists. Okay, so right. Because we are. Uh, what six or oh, yeah six seven months before the start of World War Two, so the things that usually uh, happened before it are happening right now. Yeah, that actually seems fairly light here. Uh, this doesn't look good though, since uh, well, Mets. This is the marginal line, so two bits of it fell, and it's quite porous right here too. So. 
Uh, maybe they hold, maybe they won't, but it would be nice if they held for, for at least another month or so. Uh, well, this is going to take what? Uh, uh, another two months. And that's okay. We'll start getting some casualties once we... And clap. What? Oh, fuck. Holy shit. Alright. Shit. Fuck. Why would they attack bloody Hungary of all people? Damn. Okay. Uh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Huh. Damn it. Uh, hmm. <laughs> uh, Alright, so let's get the construction, and I think we actually need to get some bloody forts here. We actually don't have any forts here? Really? Huh. For whatever reason, I thought there was a fort here. If they actually tried to attack properly from here, they would have succeeded. Uh, all right. Uh, that's problematic. Uh, I mean, we'll see if they can push through here, but that seems like a no-brainer. Uh, still one month before they can go into attack there. Uh, not looking good. Mm. Let's slow down. Well, will you guys join actually our faction? That would be nice. At least I could help defending. If I if I put like seven or is it eight of my divisions in those three provinces, that that would work. Actually, they are attacking. Okay. Oh, okay. You are on the offensive. Okay. That's nice. Of, nice for you. This is a weird, weird thing to happen. When do you ever see German attacking Hungary? I'm pretty sure it wasn't the other way around, right? Bizarre. Uh, right. All right. What do we want uh, here? Construction. There isn't much to construct anymore, is there? Uh, I mean, could, but I don't think that's that's a priority. I think we actually want that that air doctrine of all things. Although it's thirty nine already, so we can, for example, get better guns, or even better, better cannons. Uh, that not so much. Um, uh, well, thing is that since we. Well, we either are going to defend on the fucking plains and forests without anything to 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 save us, or we will have to defend. Uh, we'll go on the offensive. Either way, we are going to suffer some more attrition, which means that we won't. You know, we won't be able to simply switch to the better guns. I'm afraid. Uh, it would be nice though. <laughs> or better artillery, for that matter. Uh, uh, you know, artillery is probably the way to go. It's it's it's, it's the quickest uh, research anyway. So, yeah, construction is probably after the guns. Uh, we have a, sp yeah, we have a little bit of a spare artillery. So it's actually, not a, not a not a worst idea ever. This is why, how, and now they actually suddenly moved out of here. Okay, I'll bite. Can we just rush Vienna? It's weird as fuck, but.
I don't mind, like that there ought to be like a several factories there. Uh, let's see the Air Force. So let's try to, um, transferring the Air Force here and see how that goes. Yeah, the, the, there isn't much in terms of range. Uh, it probably would be better here. It doesn't seem to like the, uh, there was a button to, to automatically redeploy to the best, uh, to the best position. Uh, it doesn't seem to exist anymore, which, uh, well, is a pain in the ass. Uh, it's hard to tell, really, which one would be closest. And there isn't, uh, uh, there doesn't seem to be the, the, there's also a menu that told you where is the, you know, the, the range uh, for the, like, which uh, for airfield is closest to to that region and so on and so forth so those two informations uh, seem to be gone for whatever reason not sure why that was like those were two things that actually made the the, the old system work Okay, this uh Yeah, we can actually push through here here. Yeah. Uh maybe not uh well this one seems to be breaking so yeah. And yeah, that's actually quite possible. We're going to go through here and attack like that. Uh yeah, I think I'll just continue going. It's well, I do have those here in the reserve, so in a bind, if they start counterattacking, I I could probably just uh, rush through. And uh, well, uh, the thing is that I'm not entirely confident that uh, Hunger with the fifteen or so divisions would be able to survive. So. I think just rushing through here and cutting them off from Germany seems like the better way to go about it. Uh, since, uh, well, we can then just sit on the mountains, perhaps just build a handful of, uh, or on the, on the river here. Well, that's, uh, that will actually put us in uh, contact with Italians, but well, either way, that gives us some defensive positions. Not as good as the ones we have here, but well, defensive positions nonetheless. All right, uh, it's a weird, weird thing. Okay, and they are moving some troops around here. Uh, let's actually take half of those guys and actually deploy them here. Strategic redeploy just uh, and yeah, we'll see. We'll see uh, what to do about that. And since this thing doesn't seem to be all oh, right, because this is one province, of course. Um, so yeah, you just you know keep the flank for now because this is weird. Uh, I'm not very happy about this break down here let's actually push through here uh you can stay mm. yeah, i don't want any of my units that are sitting on this border to get an idea that for example this province needs to be defended or this one or whatever so it's a we need to redeploy like uh, cut the, some of those uh, uh, front lines in half and redeploy but that would uh, cancel the movement sadly so we're just going to keep it as it is for now uh, and of course that got messed up we don't want that to be any wider wait what ah Right, uh, so, okay. Uh, 
Not this. Ah, Jesus. This one? Yes. Alright, so... Yep. Because four divisions that are moving around here are suddenly part of a different... Uh, yeah, that's probably got broken up at some point. Alright. Uh... Hmm. I don't think we'll be able to cut them off, sadly. Let's see. Uh... Yeah, they're moving some tanks now. Uh, no one is moving through here, which is good. And Dancing of War shortly. Alright, so we captured actually some a few factories now. Uh, what do we have? Well, we don't have any resources, so this is nice. Uh, probably want to... Like, one on here. Uh... One of those, I guess. And but that kind of sucks. The the. Oh man. All right. So I just I basically need to buy aluminum, steel, and rubber. Alright, uh, since we aren't building much, uh, well, I actually forgot to put them up there, but that's okay. Okay, so capturing Vienna gave us quite a few. Yep, that's nice. Mm, yep, looking good. Now, if we only, if we only could secure all that. Uh, okay, I think. Well, at least for now, this, like, securing this flag is pointless. So, let's move your boys up here. To start that by simply redeploying you all the way, well, only here. And then we can shift click you there. Alright. I don't think that was possible to redeploy uh, earlier to strategically redeploy then uh, disable the strategic redeployment and order them to move somewhere where it's under attack or is in the enemy territory. So I think that, that that's a new thing. Uh, okay, this whole thing is more or less holding. Uh, right, that those four. Uh <laughs> 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 yeah, okay, so this is going gonna be taken by uh, by Hungary sadly we this is not going to last long thankfully and since we are keeping them busy perhaps we'll be able to advance here unlikely but who knows uh, yeah and we can just move without strategically deploying here I think let's just you know keep keep this order there for the time being doesn't really matter. As long as we keep South Africa changes, uh, cancel the land list. Oh, come on. And you are going to fun out here a little bit. Mm. Yeah, this attack is yeah, but we need to to keep it on to 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 be able to put to push through. So we are just. It's just a delaying action. Uh, 
Ugh. Don't like this one bit. Yeah. Well, I guess we can perhaps grab Zal's book. Okay, you guys can help here and perhaps we'll just uh, try to grab a few of those mountains and then uh, this river line. And well, if we were lucky, we could actually get Munich. Oh, right. Okay, that, that's actually something we need to, to keep in mind, that if Hungary gets Munich, then there goes our uh, our achievement. So, uh, oh, okay, and this actually got messed up now. Oh, Jesus. Oh man, okay. Uh, where is that smaller four? Okay, so this goes away. Uh, this got cut in half. It, the, the problem is that uh, the fact that we are not fighting with Hungary, but we are fighting with Germany makes the, the, the front lines crazy right here. And I cannot reassign them back to the proper bloody front line because that would reset the, their orders now. Hmm. Not a good thing. Okay, I was able to finally grab this and I want this to not to yeah stay as it is now yeah you guys are supposed to be a part of this one perfect and actually you are probably better off moving in there uh well frankly we should we could probably push in here it's, it's a bit dangerous uh how far are we from Getting additional, well, we could deploy them in a bind, but well, that's not the best way to go about it. We're okay on this front. Uh, yeah, we could probably push a little bit here towards the Nuremberg. Uh, yeah, let's try it. The uh, thing is that we would have to keep. Let's attack like this on the on the white front and see how that goes. Uh, let's keep keep the northern one steady and try to move this. Uh, we have a bit too much around here. Hmm. Yeah, but this this is important. Sadly, well, we we have uh, no quick quick divisions now. Oh, now I would actually. Would it actually mind having an, uh, you know, cavalry brigade or something? But yeah, I was min-maxing like crazy and decided to destroy them all. So there is that. Uh, okay, so how's our F? So we actually do have an air superiority here, and that's well, well, we have forty percent of air superiority, but perhaps we'll be able to work. Run, yeah. It's actually it's probably better to move us here and move us here. Yeah. And I think that we actually have some spare close air support. So yeah, that's we can make to a hundred defense and go down. Uh, you know. Uh, Close, uh, what is it? Ground attack, right. Uh, right, of course, this the, the order is bloody ground attack, so, so uh, at some point I was looking at them and seeing. Well, oh, never mind. We'll get to that later, but I will, like two episodes ago I was talking nonsense at some point. Oh! 
Okay, so Yugoslavia actually went with... Huh. So Yugoslavia went for Axis. Uh, I think that in this mode that results in... I've seen that only on the stream, but I think there will be a, a, a civil war between Serbia and, uh, you know, basically uh, Croatia here, and to some extent Slovenia. So Croats were pro-fascists during World War II, or Serbs, mm, well, uh, quite the opposite. See with the well, that may actually kill uh, Hungary if the uh, civil war doesn't doesn't fire. Let's see how that goes. Uh, okay, so this is becoming a nuisance. Mm, yeah, we need to try to push through here. Perhaps you know, cuts of Germany from Italy. Wouldn't be a terrible idea, I think, uh, especially since those those mountains here are quite easy to, you know, uh, a, quite easy to garrison. Uh, if we get the position, it shouldn't be difficult to defend. Uh, so we are spreading around here. Uh, not too much moving going on here. I, I I have way too many units around here. I think for whatever for what enemies have, but I I don't want to to to, to redeploy them on an off chance that actually that that will need enemy presence and we actually need to you know push for something because uh, potential uh, gains from um cutting of Germany and Italy's are, are or at least uh, containing Hungary are uh, too big to to, to risk and uh, to risk them and you are going to go around mostly because well well you still have preparation uh, I think I will reattach them to to, to some some defensive thing later, and you are moving all the way there for no apparent reason. How about I move you through here? Perhaps we can grab Nuremberg for ourselves. All right. Oh, those infantry rushes. Oh yeah, so they will grab this one. Uh, still no civil war. Come on, don't be like that. Uh, well, yes, we are losing. I see. Uh, they aren't sending a lot of planes. You have they lost most of their planes? Not really. I mean, it's hard to tell what's what's left. They are pushing on Paris, or are they actually being pushed back into? Belgian border. Uh, that's like a war, haven't? I wonder if they will go go to war. I mean, they called in like that's not a big difference, right? Like, as as the enemy Hungary, but and they called in Yugoslavia on their own side. So we shall see. Oh, look at that! They are actually pulling back. So perhaps we'll be able to grab Tyrol. And that would be one, two, three, four provinces. Uh, pretty sure you should attack this way. All right, so machine tools and disperse in the stream, very nice. Uh, hmm. We need eight aluminum. I could have sworn that we we're buying aluminum from someone. Oh, right, we're buying it from uh, uh, Yugoslavia. Yeah, that explains it. Uh, let's buy it from Norway. They are, uh, they are unlikely to stop us in the back, right? Okay, there we go. Uh, everyone holding the position that should. Yeah. Let's actually support this attack. 
Hmm, that got messed up. Uh, okay, so we would need to cross the river here, but that's probably a good idea. Uh, yeah, it's not heavily defended, so might as well if we get pushed back. Well, we will. Uh, yeah, let's let's keep pushing on Munich uh, since we seem to have beaten most of the infantry they have in position here. And this isn't looking great. It seems like the Siegfried line is about to uh, to give in. All right, resistance to occupation. Oh, forgot. Uh, what was it? F six. Right. Uh, we need to get some. Uh, well, I guess. Yeah. So we play this. I could have built a single one. Uh, all right. First of all, equipment. Uh, Uh -huh. This is the basic one, right? How many basic ones do we have, actually? Infantry equipment... Okay, we, we don't have any, not really. Alright, so the, those... Alright, uh, oh, never mind. Uh, back here, p -p -p I guess you you get to use the, the standard ones, but don't use any new equipment. And we're going to build like I don't know, sixteen of those. And assuming we'll grab some territory here, we'll need we'll need some. And we can also uh, use them. Um, mm -hmm. Well, we are in multiple combat, so let's not. Yeah, we can use them uh, to do a fast line grab. Perhaps, maybe, unlikely. Sometimes. Alright. Uh, Alright, we are out of time, so we will see if we can uh, reach Munich. In the next episode of the, or if the German resistance is going to stiffen, but it's it's looking good uh, so far. Let me see any. Uh... All right, I forgot to disable the fog of war. It seems like my uh, fog of war mod isn't working anymore, but at least there is an in-game option right now. Uh... So yeah, looking good. Uh, we don't see any uh, airfields. That we can grab just yet, but there should be some in Western Germany which would allow us to, to actually use our uh, air forces a bit better. Uh, well, looks like most of the, uh, the air forces are in France right now, which is good. Alright, thanks for watching guys. I hope you are enjoying the series. If you do and want to see the r remainder of this one or some other ones, don't forget to subscribe. Cheers!